What is going on, my friends? I just realized I have a classic Raiden and I didn't make a video about him. Uh, basically teaching you how to use this guy at low fusion because if you already have him maxed out, you more or less know what to do with him. Now the thing is, classic Raiden is quite the perfect uh, character. He has two flaws. The first flaw is that his passive cannot be used against bosses. Uh, and the second flaw is that he doesn't provide any supportive value whatsoever. More or less, he's the guy that has to be supported. However, the fact that he can be easily supported compensates for it all, because every single character who is not Nether Realm can support Classic Raiden. He's all classes, but Nether Realm. Now, probably you're already noticing uh, that uh, when it comes to Classic Raiden, there is just one skill that you have to really um, develop with priority out of the tree, and this is the X-Ray. It's not about the damage. It is true that uh, by increasing the, uh, the skill level, you increase the damage, but it's not about the damage, guys. It is about uh, the fact that by increasing the level, Level of the x-ray you increase the uh, time while uh, the power generation boost is going to be active for your entire team so in a way uh, you do special tree with uh, Raiden and then you will more or less have power generation for the entire friendly team now uh, if you're using Raiden I believe spec up tactics is a pretty pretty good talent to have on him to be honest with you one of the best uh, for Raiden because uh, if you are using him again you'll be tagging in and out quite often so having um, the spec of tactics is going to be pretty useful. Now, uh, in order to demonstrate how basically to use uh, Raiden, I'm going to do some fights in the Shiryu Tower, uh, Battle 103. This is a normal tower, on Fatal Tower on Battle 150, where Raiden isn't really the best. I mean, he's useful, but it's not really the greatest. Uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attack the Raiden. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of uh, special attacks. Now, the point is you don't want to use special one and special two. If you use Raiden properly, you don't get hit. So basically, uh, I will keep punching and then I'm going to tag out. I'm going to tag to a classic, uh, for instance, this guy, <laughs> classic Scorpion. And I'm going to kill Jackie in the process. And then what I'm going to do is, unfortunately, class Raiden is too strong. So probably in the next attempt, I'm going to select a character who isn't really that strong. I'm going to attack the classic Raiden again. And my point is, my ultimate goal is to get to X-Ray. Now, as you can see, it's not really that difficult. You literally require two or three attacks in order to get to X-Ray. And once you get to X-Ray, this is what you need to do. Uh, you Okay, she's not going to tag out, which is beautiful. So you do the X-Ray, and then immediately, the point is you need to do the X-Ray when your characters can be tagged in. The point is, you do the X-Ray, and then your entire team has power generation. Look at this, Scorpion has power generation. And you tag them immediately after the X-Ray so that they can take full advantage of the fact that you, they have power generation boost. Look at how easy it is to generate power. So in a way, uh, I know that this battle isn't the best to showcase because my enemies are super weak. Probably on the next fight, I'm going to pick somebody else, not classic Scorpion. For instance, classic Kane. I believe classic, my classic Kane is super, super weak or anybody else. The point is, you attack Raiden once, you attack Raiden twice, and if not on the second or the third time, you'll be able to get to X-Ray. Keep in mind that my piece of equipment is super, super weak. I have one piece of power generation, which is a soul medallion. If you want, you can give him something better. For instance, this one is giving 15. Okay, why don't I'm going to give him this one? And it's also useful to give him two pieces of block breaker in the beginning. Back in the time, Raiden was super, super powerful without any block breaking gear. Now he's just okay without block breaking gear. But the point is, he has two combo enders, like many characters in the game. And after the end of one combo ender, he's going to push the enemy away. It doesn't matter whether they block or not. However, recently, probably a couple of updates ago, it was birthed. I'm saying birthed because I have no idea where it is bugged or nerfed. And now only one of the combo enders is pushing the enemies away. The other one doesn't. So he isn't that great now without any block breaking gear. Uh, so I'm going to use Fargo to Kane. I mean, why not? I haven't used this guy for ages, I'm going to use him now, uh, and the strategy I'm going to adopt is the same. Now, you don't want to use Special Tool of Raiden, unless you really have to. Reason being, Special Tool of Raiden doesn't really do a lot of damage, and the point is, it's giving tons of power for the enemy. Uh, I'm going to do it now, just so I can show. Look at this, I'm going to Special Tool, and look at the amount of power I'm going to give this guy. Look at, look at his power bar. So imagine if you're fighting something super, super strong. I literally gave him almost two bars of power. So imagine if I'm fighting something super, super strong. Uh, for instance, uh, hmm, for instance, let's say Fatal Battle 180 something. They have two million health and they can literally one shot you regardless, and you give them two bars of power. It's never a good idea, especially if the it's the if it is the Enrage modifier. If it is the Enrage modifier, then you have to forget about his special tool. <laughs> because the amount of power you're going to give them is going to be biblical. I can pretty much lose this fight as well, but I don't really care. I'm just going showcasing how you 
generally uh, use uh, Raiden. Uh, he owes he almost have two bars of power. It's not really okay. I have to tag him out. I'm going to special one because he got me in the middle of my combo. I'm going to tag to uh, to this guy. Probably I'm going to die in the process. It is what it is. He doesn't have any gear whatsoever, so it's perfectly fine. If I can survive, though, it's going to be super cool. Oh no, I cannot survive. Anyways, yeah, actually, let's let's bring a team that can actually perform, right? So, uh, oh, I never saw I never saw the the standing pose of this guy. It's quite cool to be honest with you. It's super super cool. So I'm going to bring I'm going to give Raiden some equipment. That's all he requires. Some equipment, and he's going to be okay. I'm going to give him this. Uh, come on. Uh, I don't want to filter, but I definitely want to have this, uh, which is uh, which is going to give me some survivability. And what else I'm going to give him? I'm going to give something to break blocks. It is uh, important for him to break blocks. Okay, give him something to break blocks. This one. Okay, this one is cool. If I got looking again, why not? Why not? Let let him gain some levels. Uh, so I'm going to do the exact the same thing. However, I will try to get to X-ray now which is going to benefit my rain uh, by a mile. And the beautiful thing is that if you have the weak point attacks, this talent right here, right here, a power drain has a 20% chance to snare. You have 20% chance uh, to snare on tagging because on tagging, uh, it's classic rain and power drains. And if you max out talent, I believe he was giving 30 or 40, I forgot, but something like this. So every third or every four or every second tagging, you're going to uh, snare, which is, which is awesome. It's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm going to do this. Uh, and then I'm going to do this. Okay, uh, you can see that he's such a great fighter that I can do X-ray immediately after the first tagging, which oh, basically means game over, game over for the enemy team. Now look at the amount of spam I can do with Classic Rain. Look at the power I'm generating. It's absolutely crazy. And I have three stacks because one of the stack uh, is actually uh, cl actually Classic Rain and Power Drain, and the other ones are the ones that I'm getting thanks to the passive rain. But you can see the amount of power generation, it's absolutely crazy. The moment they become two, I know that the power generation boost has expired. But until then, I can spam this forever. <laughs> I can literally kill him using special one. Okay, it expired. You see, it became two. So the power generation boost provided by Classic Raiden uh, X-Ray just expired. So it's unfortunate. Another tip that I want to give you for Classic Raiden is that you always, and I mean always, want to attack immediately after the enemy tags in. It is the best way to 100% guarantee that uh, the, the, uh, the you know the thing will connect the whole thing will connect <laughs> the passive will connect the passive for lightning strike uh, and of course you, you shouldn't be in a hurry you have to do it immediately after the enemy feet touches the ground not while he's tagging in because if he while he's tagging in you do he, your tagging attack uh, it's more or less going to um, it's going to fail and you don't want this to happen all right uh, I can get easily to another x-ray now he doesn't have any power so I can totally corner him and destroy him then I'm going to get to another x-ray as you can see in this fight I never use special one or special two because I didn't have to I have two pieces to break block if you are asking whether they are additive they are not so 25% block breaking chance plus 25% block breaking chance doesn't uh, add up to 50 it simply doesn't it doesn't work that way imagine it like you throwing a dice uh, if you throw the dice twice do you have, let's say that you have 15% chance to throw success on a dice, let's say that you want to throw three, uh, and uh, you can imagine the two pieces of block breaking like two chances, two separate chances to throw three. Your chance basically increases, but it doesn't become 30%. All right, so uh, what do we have here? Next match. Okay, let's do one more fight, and I believe we'll be good with this team. Uh, always possible and even fire god king got actually some power this is a good fight because they have some gear so probably they're going to be stronger but i'll be using the same strategy with classic raiden keep in mind that this is not really the best team for him like uh, you can easily uh, use character that uh, is super strong and he can spawn special one like classic scorpion for instance oh okay uh, i got hit i shouldn't you shouldn't allow to get hit like this okay 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 i'm going to tag out now this, this fight is not super easy, so I have to be careful. Now, in this situation, it is super, super risky to tag in with Classic uh, uh, Raiden. Why is that? Because he can literally tag out any second. So if I decide to, uh, to tag Classic Raiden in now, uh, you see, he just tagged out. And I'm using his uh, his passive, his tagging attack, immediately after the second guy tagged in. This is the way you use it. This is the way you generally use it so that you can make sure that it connects. Because if it doesn't connect... Okay, I, I got killed here it's okay it has some, some something happens uh, let's do it again let's do it again um 
Because if it doesn't connect, you're in a lot of trouble. If your passive doesn't connect, uh, like you not, you're not only taking away his health, but you're also taking away his uh, power, and that's super important. So you have to make sure that his passive hits. All right, one last attempt. If we beat it, we beat it. Let's actually bring some other characters that can do, for instance, Classic Kane. Why not? And let's bring Classic Kane, give him something good. Uh, and by something good, I mean, uh, for instance, I don't want to give him some really strong tower equipment because it's going to become super easy. I'm going to give him... Okay, this is not super, super strong tower equipment. It's very strong, but not super strong. <laughs> and also going to give him um, this and something for health, if possible. I don't actually need that. I believe that's fine. So, right now, Classic Raiden, we just formed the best team in the game. It is super, super strong because Classic Raiden not only is going to power drain, not only is going to take away health, but also he is going to cripple on attack. And that's super, super cool. Uh, and uh, to make matter even worse for my enemies, I'm going to snare this guy so that he doesn't go anywhere. Not like the previous time when he escaped, right now, okay. So this is super, super strong at the moment. Okay, you have to be careful though. You don't like, like you don't want to die like I did previous attempt. Okay, his snare is not going anywhere. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to buy some time and just do a classic cocaine special one. I don't care. I'm just doing it, and uh, I want some time to pass. And then I'm going to attack the classic raiden again. I believe we're going to have time to do that. Okay, that's beautiful, and I think I'm going to have time to... He's constantly crippled, he doesn't have any power, but you have to be careful about this, because if he intercepts your combo, you're going to die, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to do this, and now all my characters can tag in. That is the best time to tag uh, to... Okay, I knew he's going to do that. I have a lot of power generation, so I don't really care at the moment, even though I'm not doing any damage. But look at the power generation, look at the power generation! So. Again, in my opinion, this is the very best way to use Classic Raiden. Okay, he's going to do uh, something. I'm going to do... Uh, I, I actually, I already got him. I have seven stacks on my passive, so there is no way he's ever coming out of it. I'm going to absolutely annihilate him. Look at this. But Raichu is more or less a dead man. He's not going anywhere, guys. He's not going anywhere. Now the power generation bug actually... Not bug, I'm sorry. Why did I say bug? The power generation buff actually expired. I'm going to wait for this to touch the ground, and I'm going to tag with Classic Raiden. And now, uh, if you don't care, because he's su he is super fast, so you have to be careful not to be interrupted. If you're in a trouble, you can always use his special tool. Keep in mind that his special tool is super long, so it will guarantee that you'll be able to tag out back to safety. So this is another way to use him, by simply uh, making sure that the enemies are constantly crippled by using Classic Raiden and some other character that can stand his ground and fight, not dying like this! Oh my god! Anyways. I um, pressed special one by mistake. He's crippled though, so it's fine. Unfortunately, he has 60,000 health. I believe we can deal with that uh, by using Classic Raiden. <laughs> I believe we can deal with that. I'm going to special two. Bam. That did pretty good damage. I'm going to do uh, now. I think I think he's ready to go. I think he's ready to go. Special two. He's going to do uh, the amount of damage that I require. Anyways, the point is, while his special two is uh, going on, you can see that there is plenty of time to tag the other character that you're using. So, you tag in, you throw a few punches, and then you do special two, and you're ready to tag out. The problem with that strategy is that you're giving a lot of power uh, in the enemy in the process. So, you tag in, you take power, then you do special two, you give the power back, and then you tag out. So, it's a little bit risky move. But, just for your information, this more or less guarantees that your classic rating is not going to die. Because his special two is super long. Alright guys, I hope you found this video useful. Classic Red is one of my favorite characters in the game. Again, he isn't perfect, he's close to perfect, one of the very best characters in the game. So if you have him at low fusion, you should keep in mind that he can be still very useful, and you can keep using him more or less everywhere. See you next time, guys. Take care. Perfect!